one, two, the adventure. And put my on W four C Y. Where you? Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and, yeah, man, and I'm here with... Nick Cashman. 999. 999. Here at Punk Rock Bowling, man. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we were just talking about we're, we're missing Mad Ball right now. Yeah, yeah. I want to catch... There's, you know, I mean, there's so, many, there's so many acts on, you know, and uh, I want to catch the ones like that I haven't seen, you know, yeah. and... and and I get such good reports about Mad Ball, you know. It's so great to see everybody here. There's so many good acts, and it's such a good atmosphere, isn't it? Oh, it, it, it's incredible. It. It's the people that make a festival, you know. No doubt about the, it. The bands do the thing, but, you know, it's, the, it, it's, it's that what makes it really is. It makes it, you know, so. Absolutely, 100%. And don't you love at this festival how there's never overlapping? So if you're an attendee mm. coming to this festival... They can watch your whole set yeah. and Mad Ball's whole set and yeah. every band's whole set because there's no overlapping like at other yeah, festivals yeah, yeah, where yeah, you got to right, make yeah. a choice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think a lot of people made the right choice when they come to see us. Yeah. It was packed right down the street. I couldn't believe how many people were there. You know, wow. uh, it, it was great, wasn't it? It was. Uh, you how know, does that um, feel after doing it as many years as, as you guys have been doing it? It feels fresh and it feels really good, you know. I mean, the thing is, what do you do? You know, uh, you never, I never grow tired of it. I enjoy playing the songs. I enjoy playing the set with the guys, you know, and I enjoy more than anything meeting the audience, you know. Nice. Because we, we somehow connect with our audiences, you know, through something. And what is, I'm so happy about is that, yes, there's a lot of, there's nostalgia there. People come to see Nine Nine Nine. You know, I was there in 1977, 1989. Oh, I was there in 19. But also, you know, their children and the music, you know, the next generation like it, and then their kids like it. And there's no age limit on this music. No. This music, I'm so happy to say, I think will probably outlive me, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I'm well, one of Well, thank the God. <laughs> Punk will always stick around, thank God, because not all genres have. No, no, no. It's got something for the people. The style, the clothes, the spirit. And it means something in your life. I think I said that tonight on yeah. stage, didn't I? Yeah. You can't say enough of it, I don't think, you know. But, but the people were so kind to us, and you know, it was just incre- the atmosphere. You can't describe. It. You've got to be here, people, to to feel it. Yeah. And and you know, it's incredible. I really enjoyed it. You know. And, and I some- could tell. Like, listen, I've gone to enough shows that you can tell if somebody's up there going through the motions or they're just having a great time. And I was watching you guys on stage. And I'm like, man, they're just having the time of their life up there. Yeah, that's just that's what I think. You know, it was great. The people, you know, gave it up for us, and they they were there. And you see people singing, and then you can bounce off that, and you see individual people, and then you realise you I saw that guy many years ago, or that lady, so many. Hey, and then and then they go and they're singing back at you, and it goes backwards and forwards, and and then you look back, and then people are pogoing and you know dancing and doing this, and 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 you think. This is the best place to be in the planet at the moment. You know what I mean? Right, hundred percent. I, I think if you come to Pump Rock Bowling, you can't go wrong, can you? No, you can't. You, I love this can. festival. Yeah. I go on tour and do all kinds of music festivals. Mm. It's one of my favorites, just because mm. it's got so much to offer. We're one big family. There are no outcasts here. We're all in cast. No, you can go to anybody and talk to them. You can talk about music. You can open up your life. You can talk about more things. Everybody's open and receptive. You know what I mean? It's just. I think it's such a great atmosphere. I can't. Want, I mean, I've been out talking to so many people. I'm going to sit down, and and look at the acts. You know, they, they've got they've got nice places for it to sit. There you go. <laughs> and I'm going to do that. A bit now, of luxury for for the artists. You know. So. Is there an artist in all your life that you've wanted to see that you've never gotten to see? 
so many. Uh, oh, I'd love to have seen Muddy Waters live, you know. Nice. Because he's a man who connects with the the spirit and the feeling, you know. He goes, I'm a man, you know. And uh, to a certain extent, that's all I do as well, you know what I mean? But in a different way. Yeah. And in, in a different thing. But I think, you know, I, w I would like to see them. Oh, and also want to see my dear friends, the Descendants, tonight, you know? Yeah. Because they're so kind to 999. They're, they just came to England. And I they love did, the internet. Um, and they did an interview with a, a big national newspaper, kind of like the New York Times or, you know, something like that. And uh, they, the people said, well, what bands do you like? They said, well, we like 999. And the paper said, well, why is that? They said, there's just the right amount of punk and rock for us. I love thought, it. I couldn't have put that better myself. That, what a great way Thank to put Milo. it. Thank you, Milo. Thank you, Milo. Right? <laughs> and what, who, of all people to get a compliment like that from, yeah, yeah. he's known as one of the best songwriters in punk rock. Yeah. So, I mean. Give me Suburban Home. I love the ethos of those songs, you know. Right. It just connects, you know, very similar to 999. You know, I'm not, I'm not comparing myself to Descendants, but there are aspects that we both look at as musicians right. and as songwriters that, you know, strike a chord, you know, and uh, and we're so lucky because here in the States, you know, we, we came to play as young men back in 79 and a lot of young kids came to see us and all, all the skateboard thing. And uh, and later on, these these uh, kids became producers in TV programs and the movies, you know, and we get all our homicide, you know, and inside out that's been used on the bear in the continental the killing of America. And, and I think it's those kids who liked the music then, grew up to be movie producers and, and, and they wanted the things and then, so they use our music and we get rewarded in nice ways. It comes back to you, you know, in ways you don't expect it's gonna come back to you, you yeah. know what I mean? Helps you to keep going, you know what I mean? 100%, and, mm. and you know, I love what you were saying before about how long punk is gonna last, because to me, Punk has not only lasted, but evolved. Because when I was a teenager, I was a long hair. Yeah. And you know what that meant? Yeah. I couldn't go to a punk show. Yeah, and like yeah, some yeah. of my favorite artists, I couldn't go to their shows. Discharge, GBH, Exploited, Subhumans, you know, wasn't allowed to go. Uh, it's funny because I was talking to people like Wadi and Discharge and GBH recently in interviews the past couple years. I'm like... You know, this is the first time I ever got to see you live because I wasn't allowed to when I was That's a teenager. And but see, the thing is, it's we not like say, that now. It's not like that now. You know, we say whatever you are, whatever you like, whatever you background you come from, gay, straight, you know, long hair, short hair, whatever, come and see our music. It's yeah. about that. What breaks down the barriers? That's what's better now about yeah. punk. Punk is so down. inclusive yeah. now. It's so inclusive, and you know you can you you'll never be ashamed of uh, talking to a punk person. They're not they're not prejudiced in you know any way you know because they have experienced sometimes prejudice against themselves for yeah. for what they have, and you know it's made them tougher, stronger people. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, hundred percent. And that's what I believe. And uh, I I don't care. I'll talk to anybody. I mean. When we first started, you know, here in the States in 1979, we were one of the first bands to come in of that first wave. You know, you had bands like The Police, Ultravox, uh, XTC. Do you remember mm -hmm. those? Yeah, yeah. We, we came in as part of that first wave, you know, and, uh, and, and that was really exciting, you know, because n nobody else was doing it. And here we were all of a sudden, you know. Back home in London, they, they, they said, you shouldn't go to the USA, you know, it's boring, the USA. And then we spoke to our fans and says, do you think we should go? They said, go. Nice. If we were you, go. Because of, and do you know what? We went and we went, it's no different, man, you know. You know what's funny about that? In the US, growing up, my dream was to go to the UK because that's where the punk scene was, you yeah, know. Yeah, and yeah. It's so funny because I talk to people from the UK and it's like coming to you at... So we both are thinking the same thing. Right, yeah. It's that's amazing. It, that's it. So, that's it. I think breaks down all barriers, you know. Yeah, 100%. Now, Come on, let's get cameras to take a couple of shots of us together. Yeah, let's For take a couple okay. shots. There it is. Hey, here it is. Homicide. Homicide, homicide, homicide. Great. I love it. Thank you very much. And thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man. 
on W4CY Radio.